Paul's going to pour liquid nitrogen into this bucket, 25 liters of it, and then we are going to put uh, boiling hot water onto that. So as you can imagine, it's a quite a violent um, interaction because one is really cold and one's really hot. The reason we use boiling water is, I don't know if you've seen on YouTube videos, on very cold days, boiling water freezes much faster than cold water. Uh, reason is that it's got gas bubbles and, and the surface tension is less. And uh, um, yeah, a bunch of reasons which people postulate and discuss. But in fact, probably it's a combination rather than just one single reason. Okay, so the boiling water will um, will if essentially uh, freeze upon contact with the liquid nitrogen. So you you are being quenched across the phase boundary uh, from the um, from the hot water. So if you like, this is the phase diagram of the water. Okay and it's being quenched all the way across. So we've pushed it all the way up to boiling, so it should be somewhere near here. And it's going to be quenched right across in terms of temperature. The pressure is more or less the same. Uh, in fact, as you will see, it's a little bit um, violent. That, that's why they're dressing up. Um, so the pressure will increase as well. And what happens then is um, the ice crystals will form and the uh, liquid nitrogen will evaporate because of the heat coming from the water. And so the, the, the rapid evaporation should push the ice crystals up into the air, creating a little firework effect, okay? <laughs> I think the air of anticipation is... Uh, do, you, do you want me to help? Okay, so this vat of water has been boiling for a little while. Right, uh, do you want to do a countdown? Or, uh, five, are you ready? Four, three, two, one, go! <laughs> Go! 